It is indeed my great pleasure to be here today to address the global audience of the Atlas Convention 2021 under the theme Igniting Infinite Possibilities. With all economic sectors here represented, attendees from uh, 30 countries, in fact over 30 countries, and the great keynote addresses a national, continental, and global context. Truly Zimbabwe, the jewel of Africa, is being marketed to the digital global business community uh, as an attractive and competitive investment destination. The convention has brought together government, private sector, academia, uh, and civil society, uh, converging experts from all economic uh, sectors. This will further open up and enhance the innovation space by driving economic development through innovation and private sector-led economic transformation towards the attainment of the vision and Agenda 2030, that of Zimbabwe becoming an upper middle income economy by year 2030. It is our responsibility as a nation uh, to utilize the Atlas Convention to advantage, uh, to examine and explore more opportunities on the global digital business platform to catalyze development in Zimbabwe. The heritage-based and innovation a driven economic transformation narrative rightly positions us as the knowledge economy of Africa and our high edu higher and tertiary education institutions as primary tools for national development. We value and recognize them as uh, repositories of knowledge, uh, expertise, generators of human capital that is needed to solve pressing development issues, hence the investment in reconstruction of innovation hubs and construction of new innovation hubs and industrial parks across academia. They are engines of development through the production of knowledge and technology innovations for socioeconomic development of our country. Research has shown a strong association between, between higher education participation rates and levels of development. Our higher education institutions will help our nation to make a more a uh, rapid transition to an empowered upper middle income society by year 2030. The modernization and industrialization of Zimbabwe through innovation, science and technology development demonstrate that knowledge that does not translate to goods and services is not relevant as this, at this stage of our development. To develop a sustainable national ecosystem, innovation must be recognized, celebrated and rewarded uh, barriers to research trans, uh, translation be removed, while at the same time ensuring great awareness and understanding of the importance of commercialization processes across the innovation community. The annually held symposium converging experts from all economic sectors will restore and strengthen synergies among target sectors, especially the agriculture, mine, mining and manufacturing, construction, and service sectors as these uh, increasing uh, employment opportunities for inclusive growth in the process. Well-coordinated value chains between large businesses and micro and small and medium enterprises are necessary to achieve sector-wide development and generate a broader employment opportunities. Promotion of agro-industrialization and overall invigoration of domestic production through strengthening value chains which utilize uh, local raw materials irrelevant to the development needs of the nation as espoused in the transitional stabilization program and in the successor national development strategy 2021 to 2025 and vision 2030. Judging from where Zimbabwe was in 2017, it had a lot of catching up to do. The good news is that over the last uh, three years, this gap has been uh, narrowed through the Transitional Stabilization Program, a step-by-step -step roadmap for economic recovery and reform. The country has made big strides forward. Through determination, commitment, and discipline, Zimbabwe has put its economic house in order. It has balanced the budget, uh, uh, cut unnecessary expenditure, run a balance uh, uh, of payment surplus, floated its own uh, domestic currency, and seen it settle, and uh, it has brought inflation under control as well. 
Importantly, Zimbabwe has risen 21 places in the World Bank's global ease of doing business rankings over the past three years, and 31 places over the past five years, leapfrogging countries such as Ethiopia, uh, Tanzania, and Algeria. This improvement has not been missed by the global business community. There's a real belief that Zimbabwe is turning the corner and becoming an increasingly attractive investment destination. Its government is committed to live up to its faith and to ensure this vision becomes a reality. The Sustainable Development Goals are a global blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. The call for action by all countries, poor, rich, middle income, to promote prosperity while protecting the planet. They address the global challenges we face, including those related to poverty, inequality, climate and environmental degradation, and prosperity. Zimbabwe recognizes that ending poverty and other deprivations must go hand in hand with sustainable and innovative strategies that improve health and education, reduce inequality, and spare economic growth. The goals interconnect in order to leave no one behind. It is of primary importance to note how Zimbabwe is in close and continued collaboration with the United Nations and its agencies to achieve its goal and target by year 2030. At continental level, among the family of African economies, the Atlas Convention is a valuable annually held symposium that draws experts from across the globe and will essentially act as one strategic platform that fosters uh, the vision for smart Africa to, tra to transforming Africa into a single digital market. The Smart Africa Alliance has grown to include 31 African countries that represent over 700 million people. Zimbabwe, as the 26th member, has adopted the Agritech flagship role that it set to revolutionize agriculture to, uh, on the face of the continent, restoring, towards restoring Zimbabwe as the breadbasket of Africa. The government is committed to empowering the disadvantaged and marginalized, marginalized members of the society. Youths and women are, prim uh, are primary empowerment and job creation targets, inasmuch as they are the majority who make an important contribution as pr productive workers, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, consumers, and agents of change. The country stands to realize a demographic, demographic dividend by harnessing the youthful populace to productive use through inclusive growth strategies. The government recognizes the importance of building necessary environment, uh, infrastructure, and relationships for, de for developing the youths, uh, sports, uh, arts, recreation, and diversity of culture. The rapidly ever-changing business environment calls for the formulation of innovative, multi-pipeline and bridging concepts with a global perspective. In our country, the call for innovation has never been in, more intense following the uh, restrictive operating environment due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Undoubtedly, innovation plays a key role in reopening the economy in the new normal, driving sustainable development and sparing growth of organizations uh, across the diversity of economic sectors. In conclusion, government has taken advantage of the new education model of innovation, which is responsive to the development uh, expectation of the nation as a whole. Zimbabwe has expressed its belief in innovation after its may in many forms through the Atlas Convention among the family of globalizing economies. In line with the country's open for business mantra, heritage-based education 5.0 and NDS1 towards the attainment of Vision 2030 government is keen on public-private partnerships that will enhance innovation and drive economic development. We believe strong partnerships between industry and academia will drive innovation to levels that will posit positively propel our economy. I thank you all for listening.